Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. Uh, this is the part 2 of the Android 4.2 apps running on my Nexus S. So, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, some of these apps need to be rooted and, uh, well, not all of them are apps. There's three apps and there is one keyboard. Keyboards you don't need to be rooted, you just install it like a regular keyboard. Uh, first we'll be going over the camera app since it's right there up in the front. The camera app is new. Uh, as you can see, if you're following me on Google+, Plus, or you're on Google Plus and you have me uh, in your circles, you'll have seen my pictures. So this is pretty much the same. You can go ahead and skip ahead if you've already seen this. But here you have your options to you know, toggle the flash. You can hold anywhere on the device and it'll go ahead. Since the screen on the Nexus S is kind of smaller and the resolution is, is lower, there'll be less you know, actual space for you to, to tap this and still have things in the window. As you can see here, kinda, they kind of get knocked off the screen. Not a big thing. Uh, you have your switch to the front facing camera hey then you can go back and you have your exposure down here you have your settings uh, focus mode you can change that to auto infinity and macro picture size 5 megapixels you can change that still location and scene mode now some of these you do have to press a little bit more than one uh, a little more than once uh, which isn't a big deal since I don't uh, I personally don't go in there all that often um, then here you have your white balance to change the scenes you know uh, I guess this is light on. Uh, some of these are hard to tell. Auto, sunny, cloudy, I don't know what that one's for. If you want to go ahead and leave a comment down below, that'd be nice. Um, so those are your options. You can also toggle them from this little thing right here. It's not quite... It's like a new settings or menu button. Okay, then you have your camcorder or your video camera. You can go ahead and hit the play button and it'll record. It should record just fine. Now when you tap the screen is where it gets a little weird. You tap the screen and what it's supposed to do is take a picture. Now, since it's trying to take a picture and record at the same time, it's probably not going to work out too well considering the old hardware of the Nexus S. So what you're going to have to do is uh, you can't, you know, you won't be able to be able to do much and sliding over doesn't really help. So you'll hit the home button. Sorry about that, just got a text. <clears throat> so you might get this, gallery isn't responding, do you want to close it? Okay. So just make sure, try not to tap the screen when you're recording. Um, I know that sounds a little silly. You want to be able to use all the features, but unfortunately, this is uh, this is un unofficial for the uh, for the Nexus S. So some things you just gotta live with. But anyway, that's the uh, that's the camcorder that works just fine. Panorama mode um, has been here since I believe Ice Cream Sandwich, um, and so we got that. It's still the same. There's no touch options or anything like that. Nothing up here. You just swipe left to right or right to left. Take your panorama. Now this one is the 360 panorama photosphere type thing. <laughs> um, for this to do it, you will just go ahead and line up that blue dot. Now I won't actually do it because it won't come out that great, but I will show you a uh, picture. Uh, no, you know what? What the heck? I'll go ahead and take a few pictures. So you just line that blue dot up, and then if you have the volume on, you can hear it. It'll be taking pictures. Um, and then if you go too fast before it's able to catch the picture, It'll tell you it's going too fast. So let me try and do this. All right, so as you can see there, you know, I got some of my desk. You'll hit that stop button right there on the right-hand side, and it'll sw swipe off. And then this screen will kind of, it'll come back ready to take another one. Now, depending on how many pictures you took, uh, that's going to kind of determine how long this screen takes to come back. So if you take a lot of pictures for a, a pretty decent photosphere picture, this align to start, you know, little let's go, let's take another picture again, is going to take a while to come back, as well as the rendering. The rendering is going to take uh, longer if you have more pictures in the photosphere picture. And um, it will also, the quality will kind of go down as you take more pictures. Um, so that's one panorama. That's how, it kinda, that's how it looks. And then when you go uh, home, let's say it's not done rendering and you want to go home, you will get a nice little uh, notification not like that <laughs> you'll get a nice little notification telling you that it's rendering the panorama and it'll give you a little progress bar which is nice <coughs> alright so that's it for the camera uh, another thing to note is when you're using the 360 panorama or the photosphere it will take a while for other things to open like you can see my app drawer uh, here is you know, kinda slow because of that it's trying to take a lot of processor power to <clears throat> render that photo. Now here you have your new gallery. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Um, let's go back into the camera, and I took a Photosphere picture earlier that looked pretty good. Um, this was taken with my Nexus S uh, about an hour ago or so, maybe less. <clears throat> so you can see there, it looks really nice actually on the Nexus S. I know it's not really coming through on my iPod Touch, but it does actually look nice. You can see some of it kind of gets messed up. That's not really how it's supposed to be. Um, things in the photo up here, it's nice and clear. And then over here, it kind of gets a little fuzzy. Nothing nothing you can really complain about considering this isn't even technically uh, made for the Nexus S. But you can go ahead and scroll around. Let me try and get that. You can go ahead and scroll around. Look at the building. Look at the flowers and the plants and things like that. It's, it's really nice. Um, you see the sun. You can zoom in. Um, so as you zoom in, though, of course, it's going to get really blurry. And things are going to just, it's not going to look good. But... It is a nice photosphere, um, especially for it being on the Nexus S. Now, uh, excuse me, I come down with something. Um, let's go and take a look at this photo here. And you can see this new little three circle button down there. You got new editing options. This kind of covers the gallery. Um, we got new editing options. So you can see we got punch, uh, uh, vintage. These are just uh, filters. We got latte. Uh, blue. If I'm butchering any of the names, you guys can let me know. Uh, instant. Then we can go ahead and put a picture frame. Make that look real nice. Um, something maybe like that. We can go ahead and crop, straighten, rotate, uh, mirror. So these are kind of was already there. Icons just look different. Straighten. You'll notice if you install this, uh, the S and T are off the page, and there's you can't scroll over anymore. Just a minor thing. The the function actually still works. So don't worry about the functionality of it. Um, if you turn it into landscape mode, though, it'll it'll go back and you'll be able to see everything. Um, but again, one of those minor things. Then here we have the plus and minus for uh, different exposures and different settings. Um, we can get sharpness here. We can get super sharp with the picture. Um, saturation. We can apply more saturation. We got curves. You can see um, we can now adjust the color. The colors with this new little curve graph bar thing. <laughs> um, so that was the gallery, and then it'll save the picture, and it'll also still maintain the original right here. So that's nice. We'll get an original copy as well as uh, an edited copy. <clears throat> so that was the gallery. Um, and the last thing, or the second to last thing, the clock. I know this video is getting a little long. Um, the clock, here we have the clock. We have we have our stopwatch, we can go ahead and push it stop. This will restart it. And then we have laps here. So that's kind of cool. Um, we can go ahead and share that as well. Then down here we've got a menu button. We got night mode, settings, and help. If we just go into settings, you know you have your regular settings here. Um, go back and we go to night mode. It'll go back to night mode. You don't have that little, you don't have the blue um, numbers like you used to in uh, old jelly bean or ice cream sandwich. Um, then you have your alarms here. Click that down button and it'll bring up an alarm uh, settings. You press a plus and you get a new alarm. And you can undo that if you delete it by accident. Then we have like a little hourglass. We can set this for two seconds. We can add a minute and then we can just go ahead and delete it. Um, so that was the clock. I'm trying to make this brief because I know no one really wants to see a five hour video of how to use apps that you guys might install anyway. Um, Here's the keyboard. It's now got this new swipe-like feature built in. Uh, I actually do like this more than swipe. I've used swipe. I'm not very good. This, for whatever reason, just seems easier. I know that may sound silly, uh, but this is a test of the new keyboard uh, on the Nexus S. So you can see it came out pretty well. Uh, well, maybe you can't see. Sorry about that, but uh, it, it came out well. Um, so that is, that's the keyboard. That was a quick rundown of the camera, clock, gallery, and the new keyboard for, uh, this was from the Nexus 4, Android 4.2. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, uh, you know, I didn't cover anything, just let me know down in the description. Um, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Oh, by the way, be sure to check out the previous video, which I will have a link to. Uh, for all the downloads and um, uh, how to install these things in case you didn't watch that. Now I'm out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.